Hello and welcome to day 56 of Dungeon 23. Today we're going to be finally, after many, many days of waiting, connect these two rooms together through a large tunnel. So I'm going to go ahead and begin sketching that out. Alright, so here we have our tunnel. It's pretty windy. I kind of want it to be because, you know, I like the uh, twists and the turns and it just makes it a lot more interesting than just a plain straight hallway. And it does hug the wall pretty tightly. And other than being just a hallway, I want there to be pit traps. So I'm going to put one here and here. So let's just, with the GM info overlay layer, just put down two guys here, just to signify that these are actually pit traps. Alright, so our spike pit traps do 2d4 piercing damage, you know, that's not, not a lot. It's not, not a lot, I suppose. Double negatives are weird. Anyway, there's a low deck save, so it's not hard to overcome, but if you're running, I don't know about disadvantage, I think maybe because you're technically dashing, maybe not. I'd say if you're just passively moving through the dungeon, then... If you choose to go fast, then maybe disadvantage because you have that, in travel speed, you have disadvantage on perception and investigation checks to notice that, well just to you know, notice things. But I don't think that really applies to saves themselves, although it makes sense it kind of does because you're already sprinting and you're, you know, you're moving fast, you're not moving cautiously, but that's kind of a bit too out there, so... Just a DC 12 dex save to avoid falling in, if assuming you don't actually see them. And having realized I didn't actually put a save for the, well not a save, but a DC to notice them. So let's go ahead and edit this guy. So it's harder to notice them, but actually avoiding falling into them isn't too hard. So, with our little side room here, well, side room hallway thing with two pit traps in it done, it's a very short episode, and it's mainly because I have other projects I want to work on that will hopefully do better for the channel than just saying, like, comment, subscribe. And with that said, like, comment, subscribe, and I apologize for the poor quality, it's not going to get any better.